Chanel, welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today we're going to be blasting Excarnated Entity, Stillborn in Ash, second cassette press, with the new logo drawn by the mighty David Milkinson. Fuck yes. This is what happens when you get members of Anhedonist and Cerebral Rot together. And just fucking, yeah. <laughs> it's awesome. Like, if you haven't heard Stillborn and Ash yet, I, I don't know what to tell you. Like, you are missing out on probably one of the best demos in recent memory. This is up there with Mortiferum's Altar of Decay, Fetid, Sentient Pile of Anamorphous Rot, Cerebral Rot, Cessation of Life, except for this is just doomy, gloomy, and just heavy fucking death metal. It's awesome. It's on Extremely Rotten. I mean, to me, that's like a seal of quality. Like, you know you're getting some top shelf nasty death metal. As soon as you see that nice little logo, again drawn up by David, Ink Lesions, just fuck yeah. I don't even know if Dave still goes by the Ink Lesions title when it comes to his art, but like, he redesigned their logo to look less like their Gothens logo, and I fucking love it. I think it's very fitting, and it's fucking sick. Especially with this, like, painting that Adrian Hill did in 1918. Why is this not on vinyl? Seriously, what the fuck? This is so good. You have Ian Schwab on guitars and backing vocals. Parker Laudenschlager on guitar. Dan... Fried on bass and vocals and Mike Stone on drums. Wow! I get that vinyl is expensive to press, but come on. It, this is so worth it. Even if it was like a hundred black copies and that's it. Like, yeah, it would sell out in like 20 minutes and I would definitely miss out on it. But like, it really honestly deserves being put on wax. Like this is more or less, I should call this an EP, not even a demo. But like, just wow. It's one of those recordings, like these four tracks are just, oh man, they make you fucking feel something they're heavy and like the lyrics are just awesome it, uh, just if you haven't heard this link will be in the video description fuck yeah and speaking of fuck yeah I have to thank Jason at Rotted Life Records as well as John Randall but this next release Alright, I am a massive, massive Dead Congregation fan, Grave Miasma fan, Crucimenium, like, you get what I'm saying? That style of, like, Morbid Angel on fucking steroids, evil death metal. Into my life, randomly, I... This was a gift from the label. I had checked out the demo like twice and was like, I, I, I really was like, oh, like this is fucking sick. And when I got the LP, I was like, all right, cool. Like this is fucking gnarly. And uh, again, we have four tracks by Exaggerate. And this is Chasm of Rapturous Delirium. Ooh. Holy fuck. This is crushing evil and just absolutely fucking awesome. 
I can't get over how good this record is. Like, it's a mini LP, but these four songs are just, like, so on the money. It's just fucking sick. Like, from the opening track, Clandestine Malevolence, it's just like, boom! Fuck yeah! Into the title track, Chasm of Rapturous Delirium. Labyrinth of Veins and Ascendant Beyond Carrion. Like, wow. The art design alone is amazing. Like, and the sound on here, holy shit. The production is so well, and that probably has to do with the mixed and mastering job by. Dan Lowndes, who also did this bad boy. It's kind of cool, too, because they have similar color schemes. I just noticed that. That was not on purpose. But Dan Lowndes is the fucking man. Like, seriously, I, I love his work when it comes to post-production and shit. He just nails it. And exaggerate... I'm pretty sure as members of, like, Cemetery Filth, uh, I forget who else, though, but, uh, you have RS on bass, CM on drums and lyrics, CE on guitars, leads, and vocals, and CW on guitars and vocals. Excuse me. And this right here is just so fucking good. Ecto Void as well, I'm pretty sure this has members of. And Exaggerate is fucking awesome. It's straight up, like I said, kind of that dead congregation style of death metal. I think even uh, a member from uh, Crucimenium has a guitar like solo on here. It doesn't really say, but I'm pretty sure that, like, there's a guitar part that's played by the one dude from, uh, Crucimenium. But I'm not entirely sure. But this is a fucking sick one right here, and I have to thank Jason Manis for sending this my way. Very, very good stuff. And I would love to hear more from this band, because... Like, I honestly think this is, like, you know, this is one of those bands that, like, even though their sound is not 100% original, they do it extremely fucking well. And I know the cassette's coming out soon, but right now it's available on 12 inches of black savagery fucking... Again, this is one of those vinyls that, one of those records that, like, really deserves to just be on black. Like, why would you want, like, a splatter or something, you know? Like, it's just, it's something that's very, very, <laughs> very, very, just, it's very fitting that it's just a simple black LP because exaggerate just bring forth some straightforward evil as fuck crushing death metal and there's not much else to really say about it these four songs are awesome and if you've never heard exaggerate hey this is a great chance to get into this band before their full length this is their debut recording to my knowledge I'm pretty sure that like, this is pretty much their demo. But I, I don't really know. I'm kind of just going off of a little bit I read up on. But this is a fucking... This is a sick one. Right here. Exaggerate. Chasm of Rapturous Delirium. And, like I said, man. Dan Lowndes. When it comes to that, like just mixing and mastering he's one of those guys that just fucking always does an A plus job and a real quick example of that 
for like a classic recording as well. Pardon. It was in my like peripheral vision. But mastered for vinyl by Dan Lowndes at Renaissance Sound. Yes, they're Gothin. This fucking demo is so good and I always hate when I have to say some Lovecraft fucking words because this is Fontanag Yogg-Sagoth. One of the most legendary demos in Finnish extreme music. Fuck yeah. And going back to that, you know, full circle with the Their Gothin logo that I mentioned earlier because the old excarnated entity logo looked very much like the Their Gothin logo. And it's fucking sick. I love this recording right here. Fucking hails to the crypt and Dark Descent Records for always carrying the crypt goods because... They're one of those labels, like alongside Dark Symphonies, they always put out these real obscure, gnarly, and hard to get releases like this bad boy right here. Holy shit, I never thought I was going to get a copy of this. But they like handled the Time Ghoul reissues and all that gnarly stuff, like Deteriorate, Rotting in Hell, like... A lot of my favorite records are like crypt releases. Cyanide, The Dying Truth, Dark Descent and the Crypt handled that one. It's a fucking banger. And again, speaking of bangers, Exaggerate, Chasm of Rapturous Delirium. Fuck yes. This right here, it's seriously like an American dead congregation. It's totally worth your time, and I highly, highly recommend snagging this. I personally enjoy this. Well, I haven't listened to the new Cemetery Filth yet, but this is definitely, you know, a lot fucking different sounding, but it's more up my alley when it comes to death metal. Exaggerate, just, they have that sound that I just really am a fucking sucker for, and that's not why I really, really love this release right here. It's just fucking awesome. It's, you know, something I've been struggling to get off of my turntable. It's badass. And I have to thank Rotted Life Records and Jason, as well as John Randall for, you know, fucking helping out and just being supportive to the channel and hails to exaggerate for making some fucking gnarly US-based evil death metal. And there's a lot going on in the cover art. It's fucking sick. This is just a bad ass slab of death metal. 12 inches. 45 RPMs, sick as fuck. So get in the chasm of rapturous delirium on Rotted Life Records by Exaggerate. And we were blasting Extremely Rotten Productions, USA monsters that are excarnated entity, stillborn in ash. So, so good. Again, if you haven't heard this yet, what are you doing? Like, come on. Links will be in the video description. Dive into this shit. It's fucking awesome. And as always, thanks for watching, you fucking rule. One more thing real quick. If you're out there looting and protesting, be safe. Okay? Seriously, like,
be careful out there. A friend of mine was in Los Angeles, and, like, legitimately, this started out as a peaceful protest. I saw her video footage. Holy fuck, man. Like, it was gnarly. It was fucking gnarly. And seeing my city, Philadelphia, like, seeing it burn, part of me was like, fuck yeah, you know? Like, yeah, I wish I was there. And then I was like, what happened to social distancing? Like, I get the fucking anger. I get it. And just if you're going to take part in a peaceful protest, be careful. A-C-A-B. Because I know that they're per like I don't personally know this, but I have heard that they have undercovers that are, you know, disguised as protesters. So if you get your fucking bicycle and you throw it through a cop window, there might be some fucking narco behind you that's all you do it and it's just like, oh, well, next thing you know, you're fucking zip-tied. Like, fuck that shit, man. Like, I just keep thinking of First Blood. All John Rambo wanted in First Blood... See, also, do not call the first Rambo film Rambo. Because it's not called Rambo. It's called First Blood. It's not even called Rambo First Blood. That's part two. That's Rambo First Blood part two. It's kind of confusing, but I understand. But anyways, a lot of this legitimately reminds me of what happens when the cops take things a little bit too far and have repercussions for their actions. And I understand everyone's frustration, including my own. It fucking pisses me off. Like, seriously. And, you know, I really didn't like, I didn't want to see America burn the way that it really, you know, actually is burning. But, like, we obviously need a change in leadership and we need to just keep our eyes on still being fucking safe when gathering together. If we can gather to go break a fucking footlocker window, I think we can have some outdoor shows. And I brought this up to a local promoter. They said 2020's a washout. If I can get my hands on a generator, I keep thinking back to Wayne's World 2, if you book them, they will come. Part of me wants to go down FDR, talk to some of the local skaters that you know, help build, say, hey, I'll throw you 80% of the money we make from people coming in, and then we'll walk around with a donation can if anyone wants to put in more money to go to concrete so more shit can get built. That way, everyone wins. Not only does the skate park get more obstacles, because FDR, in case you do not know, is 100% built DIY. The city did not build a fucking thing. I think when we had the Gravity Games in 2004, I think NBC helped pay to get the park repainted and... They added some obstacles, but 99% of FDR was built with blood, sweat, and skateboarders and BMXers, even though you might have thrown $50 towards some concrete, but the skateboarder that you know you gave that money to might not be there, and you might not be welcome on your bicycle. 
especially if you have pigs. Even if they're plastic. It's just the way shit is, man. Sometimes you just gotta build your own fun and know what time is right to go to that type of skate park. It's the same with any type of spot. Like, if you're in California, then you know not to go hit up a schoolyard on a school day. You're gonna get kicked out in like fucking five minutes. But if you go on the weekend, there you go. You get a fucking session in, and if you have a generator, that's when you can go to the schools on a weekday. But that's all off topic. Get into exaggerate chasm of rapturous delirium and enjoy some death metal. Help take your mind off the shit show that is the United States of America right now. Because this is a goddamn mess. And it needs to be cleaned up. Racism stinks. And, you know, it really fucking pisses me off sometimes. Like, but, you know, at the end of the day, all lives matter. Like, it doesn't matter the color of your skin. We're all human fucking beings. So, let's act like human beings. There's no reason to fucking... Oh, I don't even want to get in the police brutality. I fucking... Oh my god. We'll keep this shit positive. If you're old enough and, you know, you need it, smoke some bud and don't watch the fucking news. But watch this channel and, as always, thanks for watching, you fucking rule. Stay safe. Hey.